Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now Halston and Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today for the PlayStation 2 console, and this is an updated version of how to dump the BIOS from your PS2 using a newer program called PS2 Dumper V2. Now, I want to thank a YouTube subscriber, Xbox Modder, for letting me know about this fantastic solution. So, how does this work? So, if you go to this website, there will be a link in the more info section. We're going to go to the PC sx2.net download section and you scroll down there's going to be a section called a BIOS dumper binary version 2.0 so what you want to do is go ahead click on that download button and it's going to download this .7z file basically that I have on my desktop so what you want to do is double click on it and you'll see the contents of this particular .7z file and you're going to need a program called 7zip it's free see the more info section if you need that to extract this archive so what you want to do is plug in a USB thumb drive into your computer, so I already did that, and make sure that it's formatted as FAT32. So if I go to my computer here, and if I right click my thumb drive, go to format, just make sure it's FAT32, and just format that guy. Once you're done, what we're going to do is we're gonna copy over some files. Ideally, the only file you really need is the ps 2 dumperelf It is a much better homebrew program for dumping your BIOS. It's more accurate than the previous video that I've done in the past where we use the dump bios mass.elf file. So go ahead, take the ps2 dumper.elf and put it over here. Now let's say that you are going to dump your PS2 BIOS files because you want to use it with the latest or newest version of the PCS X2 PS2 emulator on the PC. Then what you probably want to do is go ahead and, and drag over the 7 ZA.XC file to your USB thumb drive and I'll talk about how that works much later in today's video tutorial Also, there's a really nice readme file. So you take a look at that It has some basic instructions on what this program does and how to use it and all that good stuff So if you're interested in using it for uh, PS2 emulation purposes on your PC Make sure you take a look at the steps here and you're going to take a look at in more detail number three four and five and if you're having a mod chip Make sure you disable your mod chip because it may interfere with your PS2 dumping procedure. Okay, so I got the PS2 dumper.elf onto my USB thumb drive, FAT32, and that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump to my PS2 using the free McBoot method, and we're going to boot ulaunch elf, and I'll show you the rest of the steps. It's pretty easy. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So here's my PS2. I got my USB thumb drive plugged in, and I booted the PS2, turned it on using free McBoot version 1.94. So what we're going to do is I'll go down to ulaunch elf. I'm going to press X on my controller. Afterwards, once we're inside the program, I'm going to go ahead and press circle. And now I'm going to go to mass, press circle. And then what you want to do is go to your PS2 dumper.elf, press the R1 button, and go to copy. Actually, go to cut. So press circle. And then we're going to go up, parent folder, go to your MC0 or MC1, and just paste it into the root of your directory or the root of your memory card. And now what you want to do is, from here, we're going to restart the PS2. The only reason we're going to do that is so that your USB thumb drive is not used and you're able to dump the PS2 BIOS to your thumb drive. You do not want to run the ELF file from the thumb drive because it's not going to work and dump. It's just going to get hung basically. So let's go back to ulaunch elf. Once we're back in ulaunch elf, let's go ahead, go to the main menu. So once I'm here, I want to press uh, circle and then I'll press circle again on MC0. And I will go down, down, down to PS2 dumper.elf and I want to press circle. And now it's running the program and here is in process of dumping. And I apologize if the text is a little bit hard to read. I don't have any component cables at the moment, but it's going to take a few minutes here and basically it's in, it's in process of dumping all the respective files from the PS2 for the BIOS. So it's going to have different rows and then once it's done, it's going to say done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the video to the very end so you have an idea of how this works. All right, we're done. So what you want to do is go ahead and shut down your PS2, remove your thumb drive. It might be a good idea to go back into ulaunch elf and delete the elf file from your memory card if you want to save about a one megabyte of space. So with that said, Let's jump straight back to the computer and show you what the files look like. Let's do this. Okay, so we're back at the desktop. So what we want to do is go ahead, plug in your thumb drive, go to the, navigate to the root of your thumb drive. So this is what it looks like. Here's all the different files that I was able to get from my PS2. Now notice that there's actually a .bat file. So let's say that you're, let's say for whatever you're doing, you just need these files, go ahead and you're good to go. But if you want to use it for the PCSX2 
emulator, the PS2 emulator on the PC, then what you want to do is make sure you have the 7ZA program here, run the bat file, and it's going to go ahead and compile everything into a special .p2b format. And remember, just like the readme file says, that was part of the original download, uh, you want to make sure that you get your PS2 serial number and you add it to the very end of this file name here, for example. So if I had a serial number of this value, for example, then what I would do is I'll go back here to my thumb drive, go here, rename it, and add this at the very end, for example. So that is today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.